In question 11, we're asked to use log laws to evaluate the following. Now, in the first instance, I'm going to group those together because a log plus a log common base is a log of the index times the other index to that base. So it's 9, still the base, 3 by 27, which is log 81 to the 9, or log 9 squared, 2 log 9 to the 9, which is just going to be 2. In the next instance, I do a division. So I've got log, the base 9, but 3 divided by 27 for the base 9. And that's um, 1 ninth, 9 to the minus 1, minus 1, log 9 to the 9, which is negative 1 for my answer in the second instance. In the case of C, I'll find myself working um, in log 2, obviously, and I'll have 2s, which may become log 2 2s, which, of course, is 1. So in the first instance, I've got log 2 squared to the base 2, and I'll make that 2 by 3, and then log 4 by 3 to the base 2. Now that ends up being 4, and log 2 to the base 2, plus log 3 to the base 2, take, uh, that's going to be log... Uh, 4 the base 2 minus log 3 the base 2 which is 5 plus log 3 base 2 take 2 log 2 the base 2 which simply is take 2 take log 3 the base 2 which ends up giving me a total of 3 as my answer. Moving along to D, I hope you can see pretty quickly that that becomes log of 1 to the base 5, which by definition is equal to 0. Now, when you have a look at E, and I will stop the tape to write it out, you'll find there's a fair bit of grouping involved. Please stay calm and make sure you do your groupings correctly. Now, they will all be to the log of something to the base 11. So I'm just going to group them all together. So it's 7 over 3 times, and that's a squared. 1 over 3 squared. That's a division when I group them together in this manner, so it would be multiplied by 3 over 11. And lastly, dividing by 7 over 9 is the same as multiplying by the inverse 9 over 7. What then remains for me to do is some grouping. So I've got 3 squared cancelling the 9, 3 cancels of the 3, and I'm left with the 7, and the 7 cancelling out. So I'm left with the following. I'm left with log of 1 11th to the base 11. And that's the same as log 11 to the 1, negative 1, to the base 11, which is negative 1 as my answer. Now, the next problem, you notice I'm left with a certic form. I'll change that to um, a fractional index. So everything there to the log of 2, of base 2, x to the half times x to the 3 over 2, divided by x squared. And I hope you can see that that cancels down to log 1 to the base 2. Now, any log 1 to any base is by definition zero as my final answer. So quite a mucky one that cleans up pretty quickly.